this. Um, whoops, here's the above camera. But I also have, uh, and I'll talk about how to do this, I've got two cameras on one screen, which uh, I used um, when I was playing with Tracy um, with this setup we were able to have a, a two of us in the same screen at the same time, which is kind of fun for people to watch. Um, so that's the deal. Uh, and I'm going to talk about three different scenarios about how, once you get this set up in OBS, how you can switch, um, uh, how you can actually do the switching. Right now I'm using a keyboard to do the switching. Um, but you can also use a, a pedal like a, a USB pedal. And lately I've been using this, which is um, an A10 mini, um, it's a little, little fancier pedal. Um, so that's, that's where we're going with this. Oh, and the other thing you can do if you, uh, with uh, OBS is you can share anything that's on your computer screen um, or in your computer. So you can also share pictures. Here's a cute puppy. This is Steve the puppy. Um, so it's easy to switch between all these things. And I'm, right now I'm just using the mouse to do it. So I figured I would just show you how to set up something like this, um, uh, just the nuts and bolts of how to do it. So um, you, uh, I'm assuming that you uh, are able to use OBS and I'm assuming that you know how to get your, you know, have it recognize your cameras, your different cameras. So. Um, first thing you do is you set up a new scene in OBS. So we'll set up a new scene. We'll call this one the test. Um, and then uh, over here, you'll see th this is the scene section. And we're going to set up a different scene for each of the cameras that, that we have. So this first one um, will be, we'll call this one scene, uh, we'll call this one left. This will be the left camera. Um, let me do that and you go in here, you can rename these and we'll set up another scene and we're going to call this one, right? Set up another scene. We'll call this one top. Set up another scene. We'll call this one both. Okay. And actually, we'll set up one more that just says picture. So these are our different scenes, and this is this is what we will be switching between all these different scenes here. So, but now we have to put uh, the cameras into each of these scenes. So we'll start with the left camera, and um, you have to pick a source. That's what this is about. So we're going to go here and add a source. We're going to add our video capture device, which we'll call uh, camera one or just one. And we're going to choose this one because I know which one it is. So there's camera one. Then we go to the next one, the right camera. We're going to add video capture device. We're going to call this one number two. And Let's see which one this is. Oh, that's top. Let's not do that one. Let's do this one. Okay. So there's our two the left and right cameras. Then we'll add the top camera. Same procedure each time. Call this one three. And there's this one right here. And now, uh, so, and this, this is kind of cool. I don't, if you, if you have two cameras and you want to put them side by side, this is a nice little trick that I learned. So um, we're going to go, let's see. So to, uh, typically you would add a, when you add a source, you would go down here to do it, but this is what you're going to do to add two cameras to the same um, scene. So we'll go to the left camera and right click on the camera and hit copy and then go to both both cameras and then go over here to the source right click and you add paste and then you can you have pasted this camera into this location 
Um, and then you can, you know, shrink this down. And we're going to add the second camera. So we'll go to the right camera. We're going to go to or the, the right scene, and then we're going to go to the camera. And same thing, right click, copy, go back to both. And we're going to paste that here. And now this one is here as well. And shrink that down. Whoops. Wait, what just happened there? I'm not sure what. Oh, I just. Huh, I'm not sure what just happened there. It looks like it flipped. It did. All right. <laughs> Let's get rid of that because I'm not sure what happened there. Let's go back to the right camera. And we're going to copy that. Go back to both. Paste it. And then we're just going to shrink it down. All right. And then you can move these around, make them different sizes. All right. So now you have two cameras in one which is pretty cool. It's a nice trick. So you can switch between the scenes using your mouse right here and both. And you can also just for fun, if during your show, you wanted to show a picture of something um, for whatever reason, a banner, a graphic of some kind, this is how you do that. Instead of adding a camera, you're going to add, you go to image and pick an image. And you can choose on your computer where it is. We're going to go to uh, my desktop. I mean, yeah, desktop, not documents. And we'll find a picture of Steve the puppy. And we'll add that. All right. So now we have all these different scenes to choose from. All right. That's how you get them in there. Now the trick is assigning them to a keyboard key. And that's, um, that's uh, to do that, you have to, um, it's called hotkeys. You assign a key to uh, a particular scene. So I'll, I'll go a little slower on this one. Um, so to do that, you go to settings. And there's a section here in the settings called hotkeys. And in here, it will show you um, your scenes. Here's both left, right, or left and right picture, top. And so next to, um, let's go to left first. So if we wanted to switch to that camera, that scene, um, you just hit the key that you want to use to do that. So I'm going to hit control and for that. And then for right, I'm going to hit, um, I'm going to hit um, insert because I want that, I want it to be separate on the keyboard. Uh, for the top, I'm going to hit the space key. And then for both, I'm going to hit the down key. Let's do that. All right. And then I'm going to save that. So I have assigned a particular key to a particular scene, which corresponds to a particular camera. So now when I hit the control key, um, oh, I was already on that one. Uh, so if I hit the space bar, it goes to the top camera. If I hit the control key, it goes to uh, that camera, the left camera. If I hit the uh, insert key, it goes to the other camera. And if I hit the down key, it goes to both, right? So that's, so now I've assigned the different cameras and scenes to a particular key. So the poor man's way to do this, to switch with your foot, which is what I've been doing, um, if you want to you know, switch on the fly is to, I have these little wooden dowels, um, square dowels that you can actually set right onto the keys like this. Uh, set that keyboard on the floor and you can just step on them. 
and switch. You have to tape it down. You know, it's a little tricky, but you can do it. You can use paint sticks. I've used those before too. So that's, so that's how you assign the keys. And this is the first way that you can actually switch with your feet, which is pretty cool and relatively easy to do. And yeah, it's, um, so there's that. So now if you wanted to get a little fancier, let's see, which one is that? There we go. There's a couple of different types of pedals. Um, this one here is pretty cheap. I, I have the links for these, um, which I'll share. Uh, and this is just sort of a plastic USB um, foot switch. And it's, you know, it's designed for people who do a lot of typing and, you know, you can to create shortcuts and to switch, you know, to, to have different functions that they can switch with their, their feet. And that's exactly what we're doing here. So there's software, obviously, that comes with this. I'll open that up. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna have to share the screen now, aren't I? Stop the share and we'll start another share. Where is it? Okay, there we go. So essentially we're gonna do the exact same thing here. So we have three different um, pedals on this thing and you can assign whatever key you want to these, um, to each pedal, key one, key two, um, and I've already done that because I was messing with this before. All right, so you're assigning um, the keys in OBS and you're assigning the keys in the foot switch. All right, stop the share. Then uh, let's go back to OBS. All right, we're back in OBS. Now, in theory, I'm going to press this. <laughs> it's going to work. It did. It totally worked. Um, so that's the uh, that's the sort of the long and the short of it. Uh, this is a different type of pedal. It's just got two um, uh, two two pedals. I have used these in combination because sometimes, like, like at, at this point, we have five different scenarios set up over here, but this has only got three. So I've used this. I've used this in combination with the keyboard sometimes um, to, to make happen what I wanted to happen. Um, one other thing that I wanted to point out, you see that the when I when, when I'm switching between scenes, it happens it happens instantly like that. Um, you can over here in the scene transition um, section. Let's uh, we'll just bump this up. All right, we'll go up. We'll go, you know, we'll go up to 800. So now, when I hit this, it's going to go a little slower, a little smoother. Let's go a little more. Just be more dramatic. All right. All right. So you get kind of a nice quality scene switch. Yeah. So a couple of things to uh, another thing to point out. So once you have, assuming you've got this all to work, <laughs> um, uh, the audio you'll have to assign uh, the exact same audio to each of these scenes, right? If you don't, then when you switch to a scene that, that you've not assigned the audio to, you won't have any audio. So. Yeah, if you're playing along, yeah, you just want to make sure that you assign the exact same audio to each of these um, different scenes. Um, yeah, so, I mean, there's other things that can happen in OBS, which um, are kind of cool. I didn't set that up for this, but you can um, set it up uh, so you can have a banner that appears at the bottom of your screen that says PayPal, me, and all that stuff. So you can you can just leave it there the whole time, or you can you, you can assign one of these keys so you can just make that pop up once in a while. Um, 
And so I have, I've done it both ways, but let's say for instance, I wanted to, every time I came back to this scene, which is, you know, the two, the two of us um, on the screen, um, you could um, add, you could just add a, um, uh, an image or a, a graphic to this. And I'll go ahead and do that. We'll just pretend, we'll just pretend Steve is a graphic that says, you know, pay us some money at PayPal. Um, there's Steve right here. So I've added Steve here. Let's pretend he's a banner. And um, you can just shrink him down. Whoops. All right, you can put him down at the bottom and he can just live there. Or you can assign a button that makes him pop up once in a while. So that's kind of the extent of my knowledge right there. <laughs> Now we were, I know Annie, you were talking about, um, I didn't show this button to, or this pedal to do that. I'd have to, um, kind of rewire everything. Uh, it wouldn't take too long. I'm happy to do it, but essentially what this is, is all the cameras go into here. Uh, and you can switch pretty easily. Um, it's a little smoother. It's, it's more high tech and it's got a ton more options that I have not even begin to scratch the surface of. Um, but it's a little neater, um, and I, if that's what that's what I'm using at this point. The drawback to this actually is that um, you can't if you if you don't um, you could use this without OBS. You could totally do that if you had another service that you wanted to use or platform. But um, I'm using it with OBS because I I know how to do that. Um, but it, it doesn't allow me to. Um, I, I can't do the split screen with this, which is kind of cool um, to be able to do that, or at least I haven't figured out how to be able to do that with this. And also, it's a little trickier with um, the when you're doing it on the floor. I sort of rigged up this little, you know, this this little thing. <laughs> oh wait, uh, where do we go? Because because the the, the um, pads are so close together. So some of the, so this one, yeah, it's just easier if one's longer and a couple are shorter. Anyway, so that's, you can work that out on your own. Um, so that's what I got. I'm happy to try and answer some questions um, if I can. Awesome. Let's see, stop the share. Awesome. Right. So now I'm back. How did well, I do? It was perfect, it was perfect. Exactly what I wanted to know. I'm sorry, the paint sticks are this genius, um, or the sticks. Oh, no, we have a bunch of questions, but okay. I'm going to ask the, the first one that is probably the most popular question is about what cameras you're using. Um, okay, um, I can tell you in a second. And I'll while you're you. there, um, also kind of maybe just go into how you're connecting them in the first place. Like, I mean, that's... I have all that information for you. Excellent. <laughs> um, so first, um, let's see. I can't access the top of my screen because you're, can I put this on the bottom? Um, oh, the menu. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. Um, if you un- Oh, hang, yeah. hang on, I'll just do this. Um, all right. This is the camera that I'm using. I have uh, I I went I went all in on this at the beginning of the pandemic because I kind of saw the writing on the wall. So I got three of these cameras. Wow. Um, because when we first when I was first doing it, I was using a, 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 a mishmash of different types of cameras, and that proved to be very difficult. It wasn't impossible, but you know things it, when you're using different stuff, it doesn't play very well together a lot of the time. They've each got their own little idiosyncrasies. Um, the other thing that I wanted, you know, after discovering this or playing with this stuff is uh, coming out of the HDMI out of the camera rather than the USB is going to get you a way better signal. Um, and so the, the most, most, you know, decent cameras have the, the, uh, the HDMI outs at this point. 
So I ended up getting three of these. Hmm. Um, so what I soon discovered though, is that you can't just plug an HDMI into your computer. You have to have a capture card. You have to have an interface essentially. So um, the next thing that I got, where is it? Is this particular capture card. I got three of these. Um, they're, they're, they cost less now than when I got them. <laughs> Isn't that always the way? So yeah. I get three of these. Um, and then I had to get this, the pedal, the, uh, the foot switching pedal. Right. Which is this one, which you can find other places. This one is not here. They don't have it at this moment, but All right. That's, yeah. And then I I, I, I thought I read that somebody's writing this stuff down is going to list it somewhere. Is that true? Yeah. Well, yeah. And I'm trying, I'm writing as fast as I can, but yes. Oh, okay. So I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll leave it up there. No, it's, this is an interesting one. I think I wrote uh, it down when you showed it earlier too. And it's, the, it's the same. I showed you that a double pedal before the yellow one. It's made by the same people. They make a bunch of different types. Yeah. Um, and you could, you could, in theory, um, if you had two cameras, you were just going to switch between them, you could get a single foot switch and you can set it so that if you press it, it's one way. And if you, when you release it, it's another way or you double, you know what I mean? You could get away with probably one, I think. Yeah. I've never done that, but that's my understanding. Gotcha. It's amazing. And then, um, then this is this, uh, let's see. Yeah, this is it. The mini. Mm -hmm. I get it from B and H photos, usually where I get this stuff. Um, this is this thing. Oh no, this is the wrong one. This is the pro. They have the mini, um, which is $300, not $500, $600. Now it turns out I, I got I got the the other things um, the pedals and the H and the and the capture cards before I got this. It's you know it's it's kind of a wash in terms of money. Um, yeah. You know by the time you add you buy all the stuff you have to buy to do all this you could you could go you know the the three pedal route or you could go with this. Um, you know it's a, roughly you know in the same ballpark in terms of money. This, if you're if you're technically inclined, this ATM Mini does a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Like I have not even begun to scratch the surface of what it can do. Um, it's you know it's a high end device really, even though it's cheap or inexpensive, it's very high end. Um, and I did one show where I had somebody who was able to help me do the camera switching, um, which was awesome. And this is perfect for that because people. As someone can sit off to the side and it's so easy to switch um, camera cameras. So, yeah. um, and then also, you know, that you have to plug everything in. Uh, I also got a, a powered USB port. Geez, oh, Pete, look at all them. Yeah, that was one of my questions about the hubs, you know, the, the because computers don't come with as many USB ports. Right. So you gotta, you gotta figure out how to get them in. But that's another advantage of the of the ATM mini is everything gets plugged into that and it's just one USB out into your computer. So there's sort of less cabling involved. There's less moving parts. So you know, depending on what you want to do, um, it might be the way to go. Yeah. Um, okay. So we, oh my goodness, we have a lot of questions, Jim. <laughs> You're all right. So, um, and I'm going to take them sort of backwards, although we'll get this, um, is this hub AC powered? They usually are right. But this, yeah, one, yeah yes. It's a quick question. I'm trying to try and answer the quick questions first, um, or ask, uh, 
Daniel's asking, does uh, the mini also substitute for the need for the capture cards? You yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And I'm, when you, can you talk about a capture card? Well, a capture card essentially takes an HDMI signal and converts it. It's basically converts it to um, USB. Okay. So if you had a, because, you know, speaking for myself, we bought a lot of little converters, little things that like, you know, a, a USB to HDMI, an HDMI to an HDMI mini, you know, there were so many different things that we were fishing around for in order to make a bunch of like mishmash of gear. So is a capture card something that goes? It's, it's not like an adapter, I don't think. No, yeah. It sort of has special powers. <laughs> you stick it in to the computer, can you, do you have a picture of one? Yeah, I can just show you. I Sorry. mean, we're kind of done looking at the OBS probably, or I can just show you. So um, it's just this tiny little thing. And on one side you have the, um, where's my camera? You're going to stop sharing your computer. Oh, oh. you can't see my. Uh... Yeah, but you're tiny. Oh, all right. Uh, OK. I, I... Well, yeah, I think here. I think we can see it. Oh, is that the. Yeah, that's it right there. It's oh, um... that was the first one of the first things you showed us. I'm sorry. It's um, so you go in with the HDMI. Yeah, this yeah. Side, yeah. And you go out with a USB C. Gotcha. Sorry. That's it. What's also kind of cool about this, and the ATM Mini does this, is there's an a, a HDMI out of this, so yeah. you can run it to a monitor, a, you know, just a computer monitor, so you can actually see what is going out, right? So you don't have to necessarily look. Um, if you're working with several cameras, it's kind of handy to be able to see what's what you're broadcasting. Yeah. So. Yeah, cool. Um, okay, so and there's a, a couple of questions also that involve splitting a scene with a video or um, running. I know you can put a video right in OBS just like you did with your picture, right? Mm -hmm. and make a scene with a an actual video, mm -hmm. right? But have you? So I haven't I'm, tried that. Um, I'm assuming you could. I'm I'm willing to try it right now if you want to take the time. Sure. All right. Let's take. Let's, let's try. Take it. Peek. Uh, While you do that, I'm going to organize the rest of the questions. Okay. <laughs> I told you we run a slick ship here, didn't I? Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's here's that split screen again. So I'm going to get rid of Steve. And I'll get rid of this guy right here. He's not doing anything anyway. And then we're going to go to a, the, a media source, I think is what you would use. And we're going to, let's see what we got here. Here's this. All right, shrink that down and there it is, it's playing. So yes, you can do that. You could put a video on there. Um, nice. You would have to, I mean, the audio of this would be, might be a little tricky. I'm not, I, I'm not exactly sure how it would work, but I, you could obviously get it to work. Hmm. So the answer to that question is yes. Cool. And you can also have a separate scene where the audio, and then if you're putting an audio in, I'm assuming the audio is part of that source. Well, you'd have to, you'd have to have basically, well, it depends on what you were trying to do, mm -hmm. right? You'd have to add the, any audio source that you wanted, you'd have to add it to that scene. Right. So you might have, well, yeah, I, I think that's getting a little too deep. 
<laughs> okay, no, it's fine. Um, um, and this is an interesting question. Uh, can you have more than one, uh, where did it go? Ass assign more than one source to uh, one pedal. More, can you assign more than one scene to one pedal? Wait, Mark, right. I'm not sure I understand your question. Can you uh, set three I scenes? I think I understand. Yeah. Okay. Um, it, um, you can. Um, so for instance, let's see. Meaning, meaning, can you switch between different scenes with one, one pedal? Yeah, just boom, 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 maybe. I think it's possible um, hmm. uh, because the pedals, you know, there's there's two motions. There's the down motion and there's the up motion. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure how that would work. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure. Um, some uh, there have been a couple of questions about latency. And are you just, uh, you know, have you had any issues with latency? With the video? Yeah. Do like vi video and audio? Well, yeah. Um, yeah. So with these cameras, uh, I was able to figure out there's a, a 200 millisecond discrepancy between the audio source I was using and the cameras. So you, in OBS, you can, there's an offset there's, that allows you to do that. Is that a quick demo or is that a? Um, I can, sh I think I can. I haven't done it in a while because I haven't had to. Um, That's right. We covered, I think there is actually, we covered this in an OBS uh, to, you know, tech talk a few okay. months back. So I'm pretty sure that somebody did that. But um, they were asking about your cameras. Also, uh, are they clean HDMI? Did, you didn't have to. Yes. They just automatically were. Um, no, there's a setting in there just to turn off the graphics and stuff. Okay. Yeah. I know using some older cameras on my side, I was, we were struggling to find ways to get rid of all the controls. And in some cases that you just couldn't. Right. Um, depending on what they were. Yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, that was one of the requisites for the, the cameras that I bought. Right. Have you done anything with StreamYard? Uh, not yet. Yeah. Okay. Somebody's asking the advantage of OBS versus StreamYard, and I'll just say, Rick, that's a they're two different things, right? They are. Yeah, they're two different things. Yeah, you can use them together. I think. Um, I mean, I keep considering it. They don't. Um, the, the expensive the the plan that broadcasts in 1080p is really expensive, like yeah. way more expensive than the regular plan, and so I like to do it in 1080p. So that's why I haven't done it yet. Yeah. Can I ask what kind of computer you're using? Well, the normal, my, my streaming computer is a laptop that's in the, that I'm not, that I don't use it for anything but that. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> is it a Mac or a PC? It's PC. Yeah, okay. Cause but, uh, I, but it's got a really, it's got a really good beefy graphics card. Uh, yeah. Cause that's important. And you can get those a lot cheaper than a Mac too. Yeah. We're going to do that. Um, Sherry's saying MacBook Pros have an HDMI input. So would we still need the capture card? I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah. I've never used one personally because my computer does have a HDMI. Is she sure it's an HDMI input as opposed to an output? Oh, that's a good question, Sherry. Are you sure it's an input versus an output? Um, Let's see. Uh, Michael's asking, "What model was your two foot switch? Your two switch foot switch?" That's a hard thing to say, isn't it? Well, they're both made by the same company, which is uh, I. I don't know how you say it, but it's I K E G O L. I K E G O L. Um, foot switch called so if you go to that website it's got both of these and, and several other ones on there okay i'll write that down um eileen's asking a good question about you know switching between a camera and you and i talked about this as well because you bought all the same cameras and one of the things too is that if you've got a bunch of different cameras they're going to look different right, right. Uh, so you can combine different cameras 
um, and an H, like in, in my case, I've got the Logitech, um, just the webcam. So you can switch between a webcam and a camera yeah. camera, you know, yeah. but it's just going to look different, right? Yeah. Um, sorry, they're coming in rapid fire. <laughs> <laughs> Um, can you sign intro video and video outro for the shows? And by assign, uh, Michael, I mean, I'm not sure. Yeah, He's you can do that. The camera choices, but yeah. I know what he means. You can certainly do that. Oh. Yeah. And he's also asking, can you save the scenes and camera choices in, and key shortcuts so you don't have to reset at each show? And yes, I think that's OBS. You don't even, even have to save them. Every, it, they just automatically save. Cool. Um, I had a question when you talked about assigning audio to each of the different scenes yeah. um, in the way that you copied and pasted uh, the cameras. So it would make sense to assign the audio at the same time that you're assigning the camera to the scene. Or can you copy and paste the audio? No, you were copying a camera, not a right. You don't you don't have to copy source, not the scene. Yeah, when it's it's you're only going to have one audio source right for your concert right so whatever that is you just you just add that the same way you would add a camera yeah. except you use it's an audio source yeah um sorry we're back to the lag but doug is asking how did you determine the lag was it just a lot of trial and error well there's a couple of if you search the internet there's videos about how to do it um essentially i think the the thing was um there's a there was a a video of a, or a little, or an animation essentially of a ball going up and down and, yeah. and time increments. And then you, um, you film that and record it. You film it on your monitor and record that and then play it back. I forget exactly the procedure, but you can Google it. And, and but you know, around 200 milliseconds is a pretty good place to start. Actually, that's pretty somewhere in that range is pretty common. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Hang on. Do I need any special software or plugin to attach cameras to OBS? I don't think it depends, but I don't think so. Like if your computer recognizes the camera, then OBS will see it. Yeah. That's my understanding. Especially for Mac. Have you ever used a phone? I think somebody did ask about using a phone as a camera. And I I tried that, um, and it proved to be pretty difficult. Uh, it's just it's just a lot of moving, a lot of extra stuff that can go wrong, and it and it frequently did. Yeah. Um, so I, I didn't. But I, although you know some people use iPhones uh, with great success, but I don't. I'm I'm not a Mac guy or you know, I, I guy. Gotcha. Um, okay. So here's a two part question. <laughs> this is more performance related, which I like, does Jim ever get distracted by reading comments while performing and how to handle mishaps if you accidentally switch to the wrong camera and, or have AV issues. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this is the thing too, also that impressed me so much about you, your guys and watching you and Tracy is that you're doing this while you're playing some wicked lead or something, you know what I mean? You're right in the middle of performing and you're having to think about this camera switching thing. So right. that's pretty amazing. Well, the Tracy pretty much handles the comments yeah. because I'm, I'm doing the other stuff. So Tracy. I don't really deal with the comments. Um, and I, I mean, I play electric guitar and use pedals all the time. So I'm pretty used to stomping on stuff in the middle of <laughs> whatever I'm doing. It, it does get, it's a little, it can get a little tough between the guitar pedals and the, and the foot switching pedals, but, um, you know, you just got to set things up on the floor in such a way that you can reach them without too much trouble. And practice. Yeah. All right. Do you, yeah, somebody was asking about using the, the pedals with Restream. Um, and I, for, we use Restream. So if you're not using OBS, but you're using another form of software and I mean, I, this is the first I've known of a USB pedal that you could route to something on your computer. Have you used it for anything besides this? For you? me? Yeah, you. Um, the, the pedal? 
Yeah, just a you. I mean, again, like a, a foot pedal. I keep thinking of like multiple reasons why I would want a foot pedal <laughs> assigned to. Well, I I mean, I don't typically. I think gamers use it Thank use them. You. Um, I, I did one time use it. I was going through a lot of different pictures, so I assigned it to, um, you know, the the right or left arrow, so I yeah. could just, you know, I could quickly do that with my foot. Yeah, yeah. Um, Michael, I think we did. Michael, um, there's a couple of Michaels in here, but uh, Michael McNevin's asking about, you know, obviously using this for webcams, using the same thing with the webcam. It's just about could you connect? I would assume you could connect multiple webcams that are a lot cheaper than. Sure. Right. You know, yeah, why not? Yeah. Why not? Same thing. You're right. <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, this has been so great. This is kind of one of those things where like you were so um, slick uh, in, I mean, so great with your instructions that the questions came in faster than I could keep up with them. Um, but I think we've answered all the questions. And if anybody has any other questions or comments, use the raise hand feature for me. If you put a question in the chat and it hasn't been answered yet, can you use the raise hand feature? Um, Mark Smith is making a couple of comments and I'm, something about bathroom breaks. <laughs> um, um, also, uh, you're using external, you're not using external mics. You're actually, your audio is coming through your studio mixing board you're using some pretty extensive audio in your shows but do you mind talking a little bit about that uh you don't yeah. have to go into detail but just you know it's 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 what it's the audio is way more involved in the video at this point yeah um, so i use uh we have really nice uh, i have a couple of really nice vocal mics uh u87 and a 414 that we use those go into nave preamps um, uh, and then, uh, the instruments. And so then everything goes into a, a, uh, I don't know what you call it. It's a, uh, it's a, it's basically a, a wireless mixing board. Mm -hmm. Um, so it goes, that, that gets plugged into a, the mixing board and then I can control it wireless, you know, just on an iPad. Um, and then all that, uh, so then the audio then goes through um, a Neve stereo uh, compressor. And then that goes into a um, uh, headphone uh, distribution thing. That goes into the um, uh, interface, a two channel interface, and, and that goes into the computer. Wow. Um, so Which it's all, like it's all pretty high end um, <laughs> and I can control it on a, on a, on a device from where I'm sitting. I feel like we need to have you come back and do an hour on your audio <laughs> <laughs> because it is pretty amazing and the sound is great. And, and I don't think anybody would argue that getting great sound on live streams is sort of number one and and the challenges that's really yeah that's really the thing and sometimes i question about all the video stuff because i think a lot of times people are listening they're not sitting there watching they're listening they're doing yeah. something else yep. so they're kind of they're missing all the all the great transitions and stuff but yeah yeah well although i i just had a person check in with us the other night um it was a very quick thing and they said hey it looked really good he said sorry i had the sound off <laughs> So we just wanted to comment how good it looks. So needless to say, I was like, okay, cool. We used the right camera <laughs> and it was just one camera. And I'm just like, yeah. So I actually surprisingly think there are people out there who are listening. Plus we've also had people join our stream saying they're watching three different live streams at the same time. So, right. but maybe that's because of the sound, who knows, but it's very funny. Um, so at this point, I'm going to, bring myself back in to the spotlight. I'm going to, I have reposted Jim's um, uh, website, Patreon page. Um, and I, I, you know, if those of you who aren't familiar with Patreon, there's, I think everybody's familiar with it, but for sometimes a dollar, $2, $3 a month, 
you know, people are giving you access to some pretty cool stuff. And Jim's is one of my favorite Patreon pages. So he's always sharing um, tech. Uh, you've got some audio tutorials out there, I believe, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, so, and then the YouTube channel, if you want to go check out what he and Tracy have been up to, they're doing a monthly live stream and it's been really wonderful to watch those. And um, this is what encouraged me to reach out to him in the first place. And then your pro tips podcast that also that link is also in there. Um, I, this has got to be I mean, it's the shortest, but I got I think this was just information packed. And because I feel like I could like literally stop and go do this. But I also feel like if I don't go do it right now, I'm going to forget. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's like if you don't actually sit and work on it, assigning right. the hotkeys was genius to me. Like I didn't even think about that using the foot pedals and um the scene transitioning um i have an a10 mini but you know for a lot of reasons this obs seems easier to me i know you said it's easier but just th the flexibility of being able to add the screen overlay and um all that stuff has right. been well yeah yeah it's true it's it's a little more uh uh versatile in, in what you can do with it Right. Um, I'm sorry. Who makes uh, the ATEM Mini? A T E M Mini is Black Magic. Uh, Black Magic. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And they have the Mini, and then the Pro version. And right. I've ex I've explored that software that comes with it. Like Rod and I sat down and record, and it was intense. You're right. It can do a lot, but it's also kind of you know. Yeah, it's a little. It's pretty intense. You got to kind of want to deep dive into that and. Right again, as I say to me, the OBS, but so here's a weird question. Could you assign three cameras in the ATEM mini and then have that be one scene in OBS? And why sure. would you, and can I imagine a time when that would make sense? I don't know. Hmm. Sure. Yeah, you could absolutely do that. No, that that's, that's actually not a bad idea. You could, yeah, you could share. Yeah, I don't. Yes, you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> you can put three. Yeah, that would be really interesting. Right. So now, now I'm going to have to go try that. Yeah. So would you be willing to come back and talk a little bit more about audio and sound at some uh, point? Sure. There? So see, I put you right there on the spot in front of all these people. So yeah, I'm happy to do that. I mean, you know, same disclaimer. I, I don't claim to be a, you know, I'm not an expert, but I figure some stuff out. So yeah. Well, that this community right here is just about sharing, like we're all sharing kind of what we're doing. And to me, the people that are doing it really well are the ones that I want to just want to hear what you're doing. And I think we've explored that. So, um, but there's a couple more questions. Okay. Uh, do you need the exact same resolution for each input of the ATEM? Oh, that's um. I don't think that you do, but it will default to whatever the first one is for the first input resolution is. I think that's how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, I've noticed all of that. And what is the best resolution? You said 1080? Well, that's sort of the well, 4K is the very best, but you can't oh. it's hard to live stream at that kind of resolution. Um, yeah, 1080. Is, is good. I think Facebook only allows 720 um, for live stream. Right, that's the um, other. And YouTube, um, yeah, YouTube does 1080. Um, yeah. And you guys don't do Facebook, do you? Just YouTube? Not, not usually, no. Yeah. And are you live streaming in any other capacity besides with Tracy right now these days? Not really, no. I've, I've occasionally, I'll, on my uh, Patreon site, I'll do I'll do shows sometimes. Yeah, well, shows. well, I do want to put a shout out to the other thing that you've done, which I've loved, and that is um, these videos where you're, uh, we call them the Brady Bunch videos, but you're like in multiple <laughs> screens. So you've done some fancy footwork with video where you're playing along with yourself. Yeah. Doing one song. <laughs> what Can you tell us what software you're using for that? Do you mind? Uh, yeah, it's uh, Adobe Premiere. You're doing Premiere, yeah. yeah. We had a quick tech talk on DaVinci Resolve, which is a free software. Yeah, interesting. I used Adobe Premiere, and DaVinci is just a little simpler sometimes, but but those are amazing. So 
again, a great thing to check out. And Jim is also doing audio production, like recording production, right? You want to tell us a little bit about the yeah. producing you've been doing? Well, yeah, I've been doing that for a few years. I'm doing a lot of it right now during the pandemic, producing um, uh, projects for people, CDs, you know, full length CDs. Yeah. And um, yeah, I actually have a, I have a converted garage. It's a studio. <laughs> and um, at this point, I do have people here. They're in a spare bedroom while I'm in the in the studio, right? So we're completely separated. Yeah. But I also do a lot of stuff. People will send me uh, their their songs, and I'll play, you know, put uh, overdubs and send them back all over the internet. You know, what whatever, whatever you need. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Yeah. That's the other thing I should be doing is putting your. But I think people can contact you through your website, right? Yeah. So. Well, honest to God, this has been, a, for me, really inspiring. It's great. I know that everybody else agrees with me. Did I miss any questions? If I did, raise your hands. Otherwise, we're, what we're going to do is go right into the big old gallery view screen, which is what we do at this point, where everybody can see everybody and, and show some love with your hands. Um, and thank Jim Henry so much for giving us his time today and sharing, yes, Dude, if it's what does Mark say? If you are um, successful with it, you are an expert. <laughs> <laughs> so to me today, um, uh, I, I got a ton out of this, and I can't wait to give it a try. So thank you so much, Jim. You bet. Thank you for having me. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you everybody for being with us today. I will post as many of these links as I can find out there. Um, uh, I mean that of uh, Jim stuff. And uh, this will be back up on our website if you want to watch it again, because I know I'm going to need to. So this is our fond farewell to all of you for today. Um, don't forget our community peer session next week is on Wednesday. And the next two will be on Wednesdays. So we have one on the 16th and the 30th. Next week's Tech Talk is going to be Brandon O'Sullivan talking about how to connect OBS to Zoom. And Sherry, I know you had some questions about that. So we could be combining what we're learning with Jim and throwing it into Zoom somehow. I'm sure that we could be doing this. All right, everybody. Have a really, really great day. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks again, Jim. And we'll see you all soon. All right. Bye, everybody.